Hello! In this video I will show you how to make a crafting system for your game. Big thanks to Kevin Hart for asking this video. And before start, don't forget to put like and subscribe on my channel, and also check my itch.io. So, the basic crafting itself is very easy thing to do. There are a lot of ways to implement crafting in your game, limited only by your imagination. And now let's take a look at some basic example and then move to one more adventure example. For start, create a few objects for crafting. Rag will combine with a stick to make a torch. Then text object number. It will show the numbers of each item. And to define each number by variable object with name of item. Rag, stick and torch. Ok, next is craft button. When we click on that, crafting will happen. And label. Next, at the beginning of scene create variables that will contain numbers of each item. Well, now determine the text object and print our value in there. For each of them. Let's see. Ok, and now if we press button craft. If it's enough rugs and sticks, we create a torch. And delete use it stick and drag. Check it. Yep, crafting working correct. And it stopped when I out of materials. Well, that's I showed I think the basic way it can work. So now move to more interesting example. Here is my inventory made in my past video, you can find it on channel. That's how that works. I can load stuff and place it where I want. Good. So what I want? I will make here three new cells. Two for materials and one for result. 
and a button for crafting. So, create cells. Copy variables from others, IDs are 1 to 3, and name is craft. Next I will add new items. Craft button and text for it. Great, now let's make it work. First, let's implement variable item type for cell to remember what we put there. Originally, it's known. Next, when we take item from cell, detect the cell and make it free from items. When cell has a collision with items, it's known. And when place item or back to previous position, it's take items animation name. Great, now it will detect what kind of item I placed in cell. Next would be nice to change placing at selecting cells. Now it can place items in any open cell. But I don't want to let player put items at place for a result of crafting. So it's work in usual way if it's not crafting cell. But if it is, we can place it just if it's not equal to 3. Great. And let's add more items for looting from 3 to 5. Everything prepared and finally go to crafting. So let's create a text object named craft. It will contain every recipe in own behavior. So let's create it and hide at the beginning of scene. Next, create craft event branch. If click at craft button, click from yes become no. In sub determine that we work just with craft cells. First, if ID is 1.
if cell isn't open, detect the item by same position with cell. Create string variable on craft code item1 and set it to item's animation name. And save item's ID in new variable. And if cell is open, item 1 is known. Copy that and change number from second, cell and item. Then event with action, crafted item is known. It will show are we create something or not. Now we need just create a new behavior for craft text object. Add new behavior, name it craft. Do this again add behaviors. First was name of extension and this is name of behavior. Create custom function craft item. Copy that in the full name string and to sentence in event sheet. Plus uh, type this param0. Not sure why, but that's how it works. And finally, I will make a group called recipes. And label first recipe that gonna be a torch. So we will have two items in two cells. String variables item1 and item2 will contain animation names. So, if item1 animation is 1, it's name of rug, if second is 2, name of stick, crafted item of object is 3, name of torch. Great, but if second one is rug and first is a stick, it's not gonna work. So, need a small modification for this condition or condition and inside the end condition. Here place our recipe, copy, paste and change positions. So if one of these conditions is true, we will craft a torch. Next add one more recipe burning torch. Copy everything and just change animation names. Add behavior to text object craft and back to events. So, main condition to craft something. If cell number 3 is open and there are two items to craft, use function craft item.
good. So if craft item is not known, detect items from saved IDs. Delete items and open cells. And for a second. And cell number 3. Create the item at cell position. Get new ID. Change variable ID for future items. Set animation to crafted item. Close cell and print item at variable item type. And don't forget about choose some Z order. Nice, let's test it. Great. Well, that's it. Good luck with your games and thank you for watching. See you.